Hey guys, well today is the last one actually of all the organic chemistry syllabus before we go to instrumental analysis which is NMR which also is used uh, a lot of times to complement organic chemistry questions. Okay, now to, I've, I've, uh, if you look at the uh, syllabus which we covered here, see that uh, we've done all these things really properties of polymers and uh, polymers and things like that. Today we're going to focus on properties. Here we are. Properties, okay. You can see we have done DNA in the last one. We have done uh, you know, uh, uh, all these things about uh, Hefla and uh, alkenes, okay. Condensation and addition. Uh, all right. Now, today we're going to cover the key word here is properties. I use a blue pen. Hmm. Properties. Okay. Here we have uh, affect the properties. Okay, they come out in a very funny way. Uh, you know, it makes you think one. Okay, and here we're going to talk about the I think the properties uh, the properties of adhesive. Uh, means gum. Okay, uh, uh, this one we we'll talk about later. Okay, conducting the through the skin. Some come as a different thing under applications. Okay, so we we'll talk about super glues a bit. Now here basically is a. Uh, uh, there are two things we we'll talk about. Okay, we we'll talk about uh, the uh, well, what what are the intermolecular forces that uh, cause it to have different physical properties? Physical properties are basically one melting point and boiling point. Okay, very important because, like for example, if we use a, a plastic for for you know, for, for, for holding milk for, for babies. You must sterilize it, it? You must boil it. Well, can can a plastic, will plastic melt and become very soft? Or can it still high temperature and remain firm and hard? So we're going to see today, okay? Two density. Ah, is it light or heavy des density? Okay, like floats, you put on floats on the sea, you know. All right, a chair, uh, foam or not foam density. Three here, right? Uh, this is also to do with um, uh, are they hydrophobic or are they hydrophilic? It means can absorb water, no? Okay, hydro, hydrophilic. Okay, this like water means absorbent. Water absorbent. Very important. Uh, like, like I grow old or you grow old, uh, we get to be in contingent means you are. You, you read it, you know, without controlling. So you have pampers, like your babies. So why, why, why this plastic thing like this is like this paper or can hold water for so much water? Ah, because of this hydrophilic or hydrophobic, which they don't hold water. Okay, now, now that's very important when you, because you want to have like a, uh, in, in a ship or in the sea, you want things that don't know, absorb water, is it? Absorb water become very heavy. Okay, now you look at this, uh, I, I should prop a new, here you can see, I brought I did a new uh, well a new uh, PDF which I put later in the site. Okay, uh, all these things up. See, nothing point, boiling point, hardness, softness. A hardness is always, always very important, right? Uh, for example, you want to have uh, contact lenses hard or soft. Okay, what causes it? Basically, it's hydrophilic and hydrophobic. Okay. Density. And okay, now I put to discuss here all the all the types of uh, polymers. Whether it's addition, now remember these two. Here we include both, uh, uh, both uh, addition polymers. Right? Look at it. And of course, we also uh, talk about, uh, about condensation polymers. Okay? What makes the property their specialty? Right? Uh, look at some of, uh, some of the questions we have. Now we start with, with me, we we'll start with the question here. Now the first, the first one of course here, you can see I, I, I put down here, I corrected here, it's called L, LDBE, okay? 
right? Just let me show you oh, this tiny. Okay, it means low density. See, ya. low density. Okay, poly ethene or polythene. See, right? Low the L density poly. H is called high density as well. Right? Right? Now we can see, now of course, this chain here is a carbon. Carbon to carbon to carbon. Okay? Now they are all polyethene. That's not. Okay? So they all are that. Okay? Now they can branch. Okay? Uh, they can branch here. They can, they can branch here. So, so they have branches. Okay? Branches. So it branches here, very important. Okay. So as a branch here, remember they all they all are non-polar, no? Huh? They're non-polar. Non-polar. Why non-polar? Because they don't have don't have any oxygen in there. No oxygen here to form the uh, delta positive negative. So they all are like C and hydrogen in. All alkyl groups. So they have what kind of uh, interaction between them? They have instantaneous, well, instantaneous dipole dipole, you can see here. Right? Instantaneous dipole dipole interaction. That means they are weak. Okay? Induced. Okay? The neighboring chains mix with one another. Here, of course, that's what I'm saying here. They have this thing called instantaneous. That means they are weak bonds. Weak bonds. So they are very soft. No, soft. You can break, make them break them. They are soft. All right, and also they are what? Uh, they have soft. Let me say a low, uh, a low boiling point, low melting point, melting point, boiling point. Okay, they're not only soft because they occupy a lot of space. The volume is very big. So for the same mass with a high density one, with a big, big volume, let me say a low density. You know? They have low density. Yeah. Low density. Okay, I'll explain this now with the other one. You can see clear, clearly. Okay, remember they have got, they are not packed. This I say here, not packed effectively. Uh, in, in ability, what's it? In ability, because the chains are blocking each other to pack closely. Okay, so there is less, uh, in form of the less points of contact. Less points of contact right therefore less what when there were forces okay when the was uh, forces all right therefore of course you will say that well they are because of this these are the properties uh, okay so in the ability to back closely Therefore, two, the second point is the it reduces the number of uh, contact and of course that lower the amount of uh, water forces. Alright, so the property is good as soft, low body point, low density. Now look at the other one here. Right? Now say, now this is called HDP or high density polyethylene. So they are made in the way that they are very little side chain. So they are all like, you know, all carbon, basically all their carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, okay? So they are non-polar, these are all non-polar. Okay, they are carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen. Okay, remember they are polyethylene, huh, guys? Just like that, okay, yeah? Okay, here there is hardly any, very little side chain. So they can be packed closely, you know, right? So they are closely packed, closely packed together. So increasing the surface area of contact, right? Okay. So stronger vertebra forces, right? Obviously, this this become harder, harder. These are properties. So properties are because of the inter inter molecular forces. Okay. Remember this word is used where in your syllabus here, look at the syllabus here, right? See, uh, intermolecular forces, okay? 
So these words are used because why? They are used also in your questions. So what are the intermodal forces that affect the side chain? Huh? That affect the properties. Ah, here of course in your polyethylene, it is the uh, uh, well blocking of the space in your low density. Well, uh, in the high density, there's none, so there's a stronger intermodal force. Okay, huh? okay. But how about your others? Uh, which one others? Okay. Uh, what happens if 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 this uh, addition polymerization uh, like make pampers? Uh, do they have stronger molecular forces? You can. You put different groups in the in, the, in place of the H. I'm going to show you now. All right, the question. Oh, I, I better show you, show you this question first. Now, how, what's the question on your high density and low density uh, thing? I can okay, see here. I've summarized this two like that, okay? It was in 1930 like that the low density, low density polyethylene uh, branch, we, uh, they start to make this, okay? So, of course, here. Low boiling point, low boiling point, they are soft and also low, low density. Okay, so it's the properties, right? Remember, that's all. Uh, don't try to put other things, right? They all are not water. They are, they, they are what? They are hydrophobic. You know, they don't accept water, right? Okay, so there's there's no hydrogen bonding, right? So they they, they do not accept water, right? Okay, now here. Okay, this is our uh, this are uh, highest unbranched. Uh, this uh, the key is branch polymers, right? This is unbranched, right? Packed closely together. Regular packing increases the effectiveness of of instantaneous lipo motion. Okay, and of course they can high boiling point, harder. So it can be used for water pipes, can be used for milk containers, uh, bottles to size by hot water, and of course high high density. Uh, yeah. High density. Remember, I've got 10 grams of this and 10 grams of this. The bigger volumes, not smaller volume. Okay, of course, density will work. Mass over volume is it? So, of course, this will have a bigger density, larger density. Now, I'll show you, I'll show you, the, I'll show you the question, okay? Here is the question, yeah? What patient should have? Okay, this will be. Yeah, it's a young guy. I went for the other one. Never mind, down here. Uh, I, I did another thing, okay? So, never is down there. Question. Oh, for you, man. Fellows here, we'll study some more. Here. Okay, here we are. Some of the most commonly used polymers are formed by polymerization of ethene. Ah, say ethene. Because we're talking about polyethene, man. Okay. What is this, y'all? Yeah? Number one here. Put all the cycles on top and bottom. Huh? Don't hinder this space part here. This is the don't hinder here. Okay, you want to draw the complete chain. Sorry. Never mind. Nothing like a white border. Okay. okay. So the presence of side chains, uh, see side chains, affects the bulk, uh, the volume of the addition polymer. polymer. Unbranch. Unbranch means there's no side chain. Uh. I'll pack closer together, they tell you, uh, so it's so nice, uh, uh, rather than Polymers with side chain, okay. So polyethylene exists in two forms. Uh, see now, they give you LDP, low density polyethylene, which has lots of side chains, right? HDPE, high density polyethylene, which has very few, a short one. So here is a sketch. The eight of sketches, okay. Why the presence? Why? Why the presence uh, of the side chain causes the difference? Okay, that is wrong, right, okay. So they block each other, okay? That's all. And of course, the other one is uh, high density, like that, okay? That's it. That's all. Okay? Explain. Right? For two marks here, okay? Why? Uh, yeah, I should have. Uh, I. Yeah, the marking scheme here. Sorry, I didn't. I thought I did. Never mind. Okay, basically you'll find 12 major 41. Let's look at it. Okay, 12 major 41. 12 major 41. 12 major 41. 
Okay. See, see, when you hurry, hurry, uh, you cannot do it. Oh, major. Okay. What do you want? Here we are. Okay. Take a bit. suitable sketches okay the close packing the close packing of a brush see the close packing uh, I put pen on okay right close packing uh, must, must press the wall here okay let's explain close packing of unbranch means what right more uh, Okay, load, I'll say here. Low density, okay now. Uh, right? More space meaning because of the blocking is not. High density, less space now. Okay, so let's explain this one more each. Okay, so of course, why? Because uh, Wonder Wall forests are weaker, is it here? Right here is weaker, is it? Weaker or not? Is that answer the question here? Let's see the question. So, see? Two marks, one mark, one mark for each one here. Okay, the other mark here, by reference to the type of bonding between the polyethylene chains, explain why low density, why low density polyethylene has a lower melting point. Why lower? Because there's weaker, less points of contact, right? Therefore, less amount of one of forces. You should say that. The four one of force are weaker. Okay? Two marks here. Right? The first mark is one of forces. Less number. That's why I say, uh, you know, this one is not like not very, you know, they just put the, the minimum here. Why are they why are they first of all one of forces is one mark? You should say uh, a less area of contact. Therefore, what? Less Therefore, bonds are weaker. Yeah, no. yeah. That's why. That's why the answer is here. Oh, sorry. That's why it says the lower melting point because higher, stronger bonds, more the forces make give you a higher melting point. See, no. okay. I'm going to show you another question which I which didn't ask here, but I, I put it out here just. Soft and flexible. See, soft 
the flexible are what are properties in section I drawn below. Okay, so now there are two of them. This one, of course, uh, can can able to be. Uh, this one here can can break down. It's biodegradable because of what? Because of the air leakage. Air leakage. The difference in here is not biodegradable. You have to throw it away. You have to throw your dressing. It won't like melt away and kind of thing. But this, okay, this non biodegradable. So these are properties. Okay, now but the thing is, huh, these two are hydrophilic, no, they means they absorb water, okay? Absorb water. Why? Because of this first here. Why not? Right? Remember the OH? Both of them can form hydrogen bonds in water. This one got lone pair. Delta negative, this delta positive, so you form hydrogen bonds with oxygen. On. So you absorb water here. Absorb ah, one here. And this one, this one can absorb two water. H here. No, no. This one, and one more here. No, no. So one of these can absorb three water molecules, no? So they are called hydrophilic. Love water. It's like your pampers uh, can hold a lot of water, isn't it? Right? You ask your grandfather, grandmother if they are incontingent or not, they will. And then she can be used, can be washed again, used not. Of course, you, you don't do that. Like, I mean, it's so yucky, is it? Now, see you know, So the side chains here, but 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 it is for a low density polyethylene. You know, it's not an OH, it's a H here. You know, you know. So this one here and your HDPE. Are not they are hydro what hydro for big yeah. because they don't have that side chain here that functions as a well a water absorbent why because it can form hydrogen poison yes not so that makes a difference you know. side chain are very important and even so in this case the side chain also important uh, in this thing called cross linking uh, I, I done you before actually I checked the other the other book okay now mind okay see here. They ask you, uh, of course, what type of property is H and J? Very simple. What is addition? What is condensation? What type of attraction might occur between the uh, polymers of, of uh, and, and water molecules? Of course, hydrogen bonding. Uh. Now, when you go to this part here, it talks about cross linking. Okay, I've explained, I taught you a bit before, but now I give you the whole, I load it all to you. Okay, now here. Uh, this is an easy one. I'm going to go for the easy one, then I'll give you the two or three hard ones, okay? Uh, which is very important because they come in glue, super glue as well. Super glue and vulcanization and uh, you know, epoxy glue as well. So you better know how to look at it. I'll give you a few examples. Now here, see ya, C. Okay, so I've gone through uh, uh, the earlier simple ones, okay? Uh, like uh, packing and maybe uh, hydrogen bonding with one another. Okay, now we go to the hardcore stuff which we call cross linking. The change of polymer H, right? H can be cross linked. The word is cross linked. Okay? Normally quite cross linking. Uh. Cross linking. Okay, see most book is called cross linking. Okay, join together by rational of a small. Important is by. Uh, by. Miss Tula. By functional molecule. Huh? This one long here, na, 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 na. something here. Normally it's an OH here. Right? It's an OH here. Ah, they can be joined with something here. Right here. Join! Okay, here, join! Join! This is called cross linking. Okay? Right. So cross linking can happen in a, a, a few, in many ways. Uh, okay, as long as there are groups able to form. Bonds with another molecule, normally this is a molecule, bifunctional group. Which of the following uh, will be suitable for cross linking with H? Okay? But did before the day, is it not? Huh? Right? Uh, if you remember, uh, you don't remember. Uh. Okay, now I'm going to repeat here just in case, okay? Now remember all this here, this whole group here, this whole, what is it? What is it? This Okay, I'm going to draw up there. All right? I'll try to draw as good as I can. Okay, here. Right. 
C This is C here, and this is O H. This is C and O and H. And there are plenty of them. Okay, C and O and H. Okay, I'm gonna draw. I think that's all. Okay, I'm gonna draw here. All right. Okay, here is your O and H here. Here is your O and H here. Just to reverse that. Okay. I'm gonna draw this. Uh, this again. Now, so I need a group that can, that can bond from a bond. Of course, what can bond with OH? Of course, ester, is it? Like, ah, ester linkage. So I need a bifunction or a bicarboxylic acid. Uh, down here, you can see it. I did before, huh? I did this before. Okay. So, cannot be a bi, diol, is it? Like, cannot be a diamine. It's worse. Like, diamine don't really be alcohol. Right? Cannot be a, 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 a carboxylic acid with alcohol, is it? Cannot be a amine and a, and an amino acid. Cannot say ah this fellow here. Okay, it's butane. The weak acid four carbons is called butane. Butane, diweak or the weak acid. Okay, this is very common uh, used in uh, uh, what is this? This uh, uh, condensation preparation. Okay, I'm gonna draw it up here. Right, so you can see the cross linking here. I I can't draw the four the, all the four carbons here, but never mind. I'll draw like that, okay, no. uh, okay, just draw, just draw a small fellow here. Ah, okay, now remember, here got C is in, then we got O, okay, I'm going to put the, the small fellow here, okay, so the spacer, okay, of course the H and the H, I just draw, draw one enough, okay, so again, here is your double bond O, draw in a way as you can, see now. So, if you put a lot of these fellows here, right, and of course this will bond. See, uh, undergo a condensation in the side chain. Right? And what happens is that, of course, you get what? Here's your, okay, here's your one okay, here. Here's your O. Why not? I join to the C, double bond O. Why not? And then to the C, and to the C, uh, and to the Tito, Tito here, and to the O, and to the main chain. So, cross clicking. And then, yeah, the means that they, they cannot roll over, they cannot, they, cannot, they cannot run away now. So they are firmer, tighter, stronger. So they are very strong polymer. They cannot be broken, see, because they can break more bonds, see? Huh? Okay? So this is what happens in cross-linking between such things. Now remember, the, the main molecule here, the main molecule here is an addition molecule. It's an addition molecule. Oh, oh sorry, polymer. Okay, the side chain here uh, undergoes what con, then station that's all. Okay, okay. Now you will see many types, so you must think carefully. Now I'm going to show you another question, which is just up here. Good question. That came up. Uh, before I go and talk about others, okay. Now here I took the answer here, so I say, hey, how come you get how can people answer for that? Okay. Now here, here we are. This is for Pampers one. This is a real one. Okay, in recent years, there has been considerable interest in the range of polymers known as hydrogels. Ah, jelly stuff, okay, hydrogels, means I drop water, plenty of water. These polymers are hydrophilic, loving water, and can absorb large quantities of water. The diagram shows part of the story of hydrogel. Now look at this, they give you this big fellow here in the exams, you panic and say, wow. This is my new teacher, uh, stupid idiot. Uh, well, I'll kill you when tell you, because you will look at your teacher and you your face. Okay, now here we are. Okay, look at it. Enjoy it. What a masterpiece. Okay, and the hydrogel is formed from chains of one polymer which are cross linked using another molecule. So I've taught you the idea. Now, how can you figure out the, the jigsaw puzzle? But first of all, read the question first. Draw the structure of the Monomer. You got the monomer of the polymer chain. They did ask you to draw the cross link uh, uh, by function molecule. Then state the type of polymerization uh, to cause this chain. That means the main chain. Where is the main chain? And where is the molecule that joins them together? So you must be aware of what they ask you. 
electron structure of the, of the molecule, the molecule used to cross link. Uh, that means that this molecule must be bifunctional. Bifunctional. Okay. Why not? Two functions, two of them. Okay, now use a brain. Your brain not. Huh? Okay. Now, obviously, the, uh, the, the, the linkage here is an ester linkage. You got any brains, uh, you can see that it must be an ester linkage. Okay, I'll draw the ester linkage. Circle it first nicely. Uh, it's a two city. Dua city. Okay, two, three, four. Okay, so far. So obviously, right, this linkage here, uh, if you break here, I told you, uh, uh, the best way to get the monomer to break the, you know, break here, break here. You don't make CO, you idiot, huh? the way they break CO, you fool, I tell you. Break here. Break here, you know, yeah. Obviously, if you, then you consider break to break, uh, I'll use a blue, blue ink, okay. More easier to see, okay. Break, sampai breaks in. Okay, now this must be the bifunctional molecules, you know, uh, because this carbon dog, the, the, the carbon dog group here, it means this must be ester group, uh, sorry, must be a carbon ester group, you know. So of course, in this case, you draw it out here, my dear students, CH here, it will be a C double bond, uh, double bond O, and must be OH, yeah, yeah, yeah right. okay. And we'll go to a CH2, and go to C, and here, uh, of course, that means this one break here, that means this one must belong to here, isn't it? Right on, figure out yourself, you've got brains not. Okay, H, I uh, put down here, like, you're not clear, whatever. Of course, here's to another C, is it? Another C, is it? Another C. Oh, love, God, so. Now, that means that this one here, right, must be the bifunctional cross-linking molecule, is it? Right now, that means here must be a, Ah, a, a, a four, a four alcohol group, a C here and a C here, see how I work it out, okay? So when you revise, write it out. Don't think you're damn smart. Oh, I see, I know what. You see your head, I tell you what. You see your monsters, you kind of reproduce like what is happening. Okay, it must be, huh? Alcohol group is it, alcohol group, huh? Here is H here. I tell you first study, I think you're very smart, no? They say you're not smart, no? you fail my test, I tell you. Okay. H here and H here. And OH here. Write it down 10 times if you have a problem. I think this this this, this South Korean boy I very admire him when he first started the college. Huh? That fellow cannot, you know, all the biology term, I was doing biology. All the biology terms are so difficult, you know, the A levels. And he's come with hardly any English. You know what I do now? All the terms that he memorized it 100 times, write down 100 times. So. And how many hundreds and thousands of, of biology was there? He did it, man. It's called a B. Oh, I think my head's off him, man. Huh? Really good. I mean, he got persistent. He he willing to work. Besides, South Korea is so great. I tell you, are you are all lazy buggers. Okay, see now. So this is the what bifunctional molecule to cause a cross link. Now this one here. So now this if this fellow here, right? Blah 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 here. Uh, they ask you for the first question here. What is the monomer? Draw the structure of the monomer. From the polymer chain, that means the main chain, is it? The main chain here. So, now this, now this, this will be the main chain, huh? Ah, da, 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 Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah. Okay, plus here, of course. Okay, plus here, then. Right? So, how do you figure the, the main chain? I do it before. How many carbons are in you? Block it. How many? Huh? Louder, I can hear you. What? Two, is it? Full. Okay, start with here or here? Up to you. Okay, start with here. Ah, uh, one more, one, one, one. Oh, summer, yeah, same thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right now, this same already. So say, oh, that means this must be the monomer, right? Okay, so the double one is here. Yes, now, this, one is, this, this, will, this, will, this will be the, okay, 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 this will Okay, see now. This must have been the double one right here. See so the double here. Between this carbon and this carbon. 
and then between this carbon and this carbon. Ah, okay, so here's the third this double one. The rest you don't touch. H and H here. H and H here. Of course, this will be C. Yes, ah. Okay, your propene, your propene, okay, propene, pro, uh, uh, so, okay. your, 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 your prop three in uh, with acid, whatever. Lah. Okay, see that? You see that? Okay, so this is how you figure it out. You have to look at it and train your mind to look at this, give it this kind of thing to accept. Okay, say, get that polymerization of this chain, okay, it's addition, this is addition. No problem, not. Ah, the structure of the cross link group. Okay, I put all the answers here. Okay. Yeah. Half question got also got thinking question. Very good. CIE is very good. See okay. I see that. Okay. Uh, this that is this, that is a monomer. Yeah. One here. I see here. Or oh, you can give Esther. Or you can give your acyl. This these two are the main one. This one is okay. Nah. These two. Okay, addition. Ah, uh, and then this is the one. Of course, what comes out is a fourth. Okay, let's now let's go back to here. Ah, uh, uh, the questions are wow, almost time over, already, man. Now, mind, you get the idea. Okay, right? Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, down here, say it. Uh, during the cross linking, a small molecule is a form byproduct. Of course, water is it? Water or HCl? Ah. Okay, now once. Once the hydrogel is out, so water, it can be dried, reduced many times. Uh, remember, your grandmother uh, finished, you know, or your baby, sister, whatever, baby brother, wash it, eh? go and dry it and use again. <laughs> it can be used, of course, you wash it. Uh. Okay, dry it, put it in the sun, and wash uh, the owner. Uh, but sometimes uh, you just yucky the music, eh? okay? Explain why this is possible to refer to a structure in the opposite page. Why, 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 why can we use again? Okay, now look at the marking scheme, okay? This is part B, okay? You can see the marking scheme. I just go straight away, lah, okay? B, okay. Water is bonded by hydrogen bonding. First mark. Huh? The urine, the feces, the water there, right? The water is bonded to hydrogen bond because the rest of the stuff is just holding it up, right? And the hydrogen bonds are weak. Okay. Bonded by hydrogen bonds, hydrogen weak ion can be broken, there's water all can come out. Okay, you put some fat inside, some detergent, you can wash the rest of things out. So you must know how to answer the question. You understand? Okay, it's still easy for me. I try to cut and paste easier. Uh, there are a few questions here. Okay, now here is another nice question here. Okay, okay, yeah. Alright, see, not every available side chain in the polymer is crossing. The amount of crossing affects the properties of, of, the, of the hydrogel. The more crossing, of course, stronger. You know? But does it mean home water? Ah, two, two kind of questions here. Two types of, of things they will ask you. One, the amount of crossing has, they say, has little effect. No, the amount, it means a plenty also uh, 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 would affect. Little is the effect. Little effect on the ability to absorb water. No? It doesn't mean more, more crossing, more absorbed water. Why is that the case? Now, let me show you why, okay? I'll show you first. Uh, otherwise, you won't see. Uh, let, let's go back to the top part. Here. Right? And then I look at the mark, the, the marking scene, okay? You try yourself first. Now, see here? Huh? Right? Now, before, before, let's look at this part first. Huh? Uh, just, just this part will do, okay? This part, just this part. Yeah. Now before they before they form the cross link, right? Because the uh, is the OH it is the OH right? It's a how many how many how many how many proper how many OH groups are there? Because this OH group will form what form the hydrogen bonds in water, right? Right? Okay? Right now, because uh, 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 the, the, the carbon now is fixed already. The OH group, how many how many OH group? Um, the OH group, the, how many OH group forms hydrogen bond? Now, before you put this on here, there's one OH group here, okay? And there's also one, one, one OH group here, okay? Yep. Yeah. So, before you form this link, this side here, okay? 
there are two always should one always should be here and one always should be here. After you form the cross leg here, right? This one is gone, this one is gone. Right? So how many OH groups are, are new? Two also. No difference. Eh? See now. Two OH group is uh, destroyed, two OH group remain. So how, however number of cross things you make, it's always two. OH group same. That's fine, it doesn't change. Holy water among the same. No, no. But of course, more cross linking. So, what effect would the cross linking do? Of course, it forms uh, like whole water, but also it makes it stronger, you know, right? So, here it makes it stronger as well. So, tougher. You want you win, the whole thing break, and then all the, all the feces come out, you know, okay? Right? So, it says here, right? Has, has little effect. Right? Now, here. So, here, why? Right? Because uh, two. OH group uh, uh, lost to OH group form. Okay. Therefore, net change is how much? Zero or not. Okay. Or not. Okay. Uh, we we'll look, uh, we'll look at the answer later. Okay. Now, so just one property hydrogen will change if more cross linking take, take place. Now, explain what, how they increase it. Okay, of course now, of course it's, the, it's, it's how strong is it? Oh, that's okay, huh? right. More of us stronger, more bonds, tougher. Okay, here. See the answer, huh? Cross-linking, the cross-linking causes no reduction in the number of OH groups. How do you put it? I don't know how to do that, right? Right, you can say a uh, two OH group loss, uh, and then two OH group form, that means the net change is zero, okay? Or cross-linking, Cross linking molecules also have two H group now. Okay? Property becomes harder, rigid, less flexible, stronger, higher melting point. Ah, all these are because of the strong what one? Strong, strong ester linkage. Yeah. Remember, uh, hey, uh, if you wash, wash some more, all this ester linkage will break also, okay? Hydrolyze it. Uh, if you hot water, all your nappies, uh, you wash again, you can wear yeah, after some things it will it will tear. No? Because you break the this thing, because the chains are strong, uh, because the chains are strongly held. You can put up because why the ester linkage are very strongly held. The bonds are stronger. Yeah? The ester linkage. See, right? More, 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 like more letters between them are stronger. Yeah? Because the ester linkage is very strong. So two things, huh? Right? Water doesn't matter what. Okay, as long as it's got OH there. Right? But then the strength of the thing is changed. Okay, huh? right now. I better go on. I've got a lot to cover. The examples. The examples are the important stuff, you know. Yeah. You go over again, I tell you, you don't think you're very smart. Why is that? So one button's meant to it. Okay, I see a lot. Oh you of it that's how how to teach so so much. Okay, now, ah, uh, now let's uh, cross the Okay, I just started with this one here. Now, my and the cross the gate. Now, here is your, uh, this is your box nice rubber. Beautiful diagram. Those who do uh, SPM, you would actually know, I hope. Uh, okay, now look at this, right? Same. It's your book, okay? Now, this, of course, is the main chain there. Uh, this sulfur here is your. Balkanized sulfur. Use S8 one, okay? You break up and form, so it can be S, S, and 3S, and 4S, and 5S, and so forth, okay? If you put 2S here, doesn't matter, just cross the region, okay? So make, make the design whole. So is, is this, is this is body at the break? Now before that, uh, how do you, you know, you know uh, this, how do you first form rubber? Now I'll I give the, see, I, I went to the website, okay? Isoprene. This is isoprene, see that? Okay, isoprene. Huh? One, first carbon. Okay, can't do it. One carbon, two carbon, three, and four. And this is a side chain. Okay, so now there are two, uh, uh, well, this is one and then single. And this one, I will talk to you more, okay, I'll about this kind of uh, one day. Okay? This one can move on. The one is called uh, resonance resonator. Okay, so remember the four comments: one, two, three, four. This one don't care. 
in your example there, they put a H here. Doesn't matter. So four carbon to the front and the back. Okay, I'm going to go back here. I'll show you that I'm not laughing. Okay, I'm not lying to you. Okay, uh, this one. you before if you remember lah. of course you forgot lah. okay so for this example they remove the CH3 to make it easier for you lah, okay so I will also will do the same right so easier for you so that there are so many groups there ah, come on baby okay put a hitch here now I'm going to draw just three I'll show you how the how how the tree the rubber tree forms it. The rubber tree will have to produce this monomer first. Okay, now there are three monomers I put down here. If I don't draw it, you won't be able to see that. That's all. You will just learn by heart and you will be an idiot. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah. See, I also can make a mistake. We've got covered for five ones. Uh, put in KDJs. Uh. Huh? <laughs> it's not like his house. Okay. If you find that these videos are helpful, introduce you to, to friends, I don't care, la. Taylor's College or whatever college, I don't care, la. and I help them, la. I mean, it's free, why is it? I give this shit expensive, you know, this thing is easy, I but it's really free. So if I help you, if you get help, there's somebody to go and run, but maybe I subscribe, la. help me out with it. So I old age, I get some money, is it from YouTube? Huh? Help someone, okay, if you find helpful. I'm sure it's not, it won't help everybody because the way I teach, teach some people don't like it, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's so pushy and blah, 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 blah. I don't really give a damn, you know. Actually, <laughs> ah, listen carefully, you idiot. Now, I told you what, this is actually free medical edition. X here, okay, it's time. One, one, five, you know. Watch, uh, watch nicely. This is a two, it's a die-in, no. Two double bonds. If one double bond, it's not an in. One double bond. If it's two, two double bonds here, okay, got a conjugate system actually. Okay, right. Two, got die in, die in, okay. Two means die, okay. So now, how they polymerize to form the rubber? So right here, half, half arrow, half arrow, the top of the bonds, you know. Here, we'll go half arrow, and here, half arrow, the one, one, one. So, got X here, wanted to see this addition. It's free radical addition, unlike your LK, it's free radical substitution. Something comes out. Here, nothing comes out. Unlike your pang side, nothing comes out. Hey, chair. Now, here, of course, well, the, the first one here, now the second one here, ah, ah, form because of the one next one here. Here, look, here. Ah, see that? Now, here, same thing here. Half electron move to here. Here, half move here to form the bond, you know. Okay? And so it continues. That's why it's called polymerization. That. See? Meow, meow. It goes on and on. Rubber tree, very, very smart, tell you. God, don't, don't, make, don't, don't make junk. Okay. Maybe you. Okay. Here. Right now. To here. To now, this is the first monomer here. Four, isn't it? Okay. Right? Now, this join now. Join now. Now, I'm going to put the blue, blue color so that you can see that the join is between two of the monomers. Okay. Join. Okay, okay, to this carbon here. This carbon here, which is see here. Okay, this, this carbon here is this carbon here. Okay, this is joined by these two electrons here. Okay, so here will be your H. H 
H here single bond <coughs> H bond. Now, this is our one from from what between these two here. Okay, C H right. Yeah. Okay. Here, what is this? Here. Here. <coughs> yeah, here is here. Here. So here is here. So, so now this single bond. This is your fourth carbon. This is this one here. A bit bigger, so it looks a bit off. Okay, it's here now. Bear this one down to here. Four carbon, one, two, three, four. Blue color, join to here. All right, okay, all right. Try out, do it yourself, get the structure in. C, I uh, the first C here. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, I got this. Red. Never mind. Red, change to red. Okay, H here. Okay, H here. This carbon and this carbon to say, okay. So here lost the lost double bond, single bond C, H here, right? And from double bond in H here, okay. And single bond H here, and then it continues. Now this whole thing is actually the original rubber, unvulcanized, unvulcanized, original. Rubber. Well, it is nice, uh, long chain, free of charge from the tree, produced for you a polymer. Uh, but this, this, uh, put another color, uh, put the yellow, uh, so it won't disturb. Yellow. See, this double bond here, okay, will, it, they are a problem, you know, because they are very reactive. Okay? And so they, uh, you know, and they will react and become sticky. Uh, in, uh, no, and then uh, uh, it become very soft because they have, uh, you know, they, 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 the, the bonds between the, 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 the polymers all can be broken instead. So what they did was they, they, they make the cross link. Okay, now I'm going to draw another molecule here. Okay, I don't take a long time, but what to do? Okay, okay, I'm going to draw another molecule here. Okay, uh, just. Uh, same over here. Okay, I hope I can just draw nice so that you can actually see the joining. Okay, the unjoin and the join down here so that it won't obstruct. Do a okay. Do a plate Okay, H H here. Okay, original ah uh, H here. Here to you see uh, okay here, here here and the blue here see here 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 this is look up okay to the C here here double bond here C here okay and I think I'll stop here okay now here so now what happens is when I put a sulfur see the sulfur don't crossing everything sulfur here. Okay, here two sulfur ones. Okay, right? Another sulfur here. Okay. Yes, I forgot to put the blue. Okay, maybe I uh, okay now. Man, uh, see now what happens? Uh, another sulfur here. Okay, sulfur, sulfur. What happens is that this double, let's say this one don't make it now here, here please, okay, here, right? The double bond here, once one of these bonds will form here, one of the electrons, okay, from here, right? From here, and one of the electrons will form here. See? See now, okay? So one will form here, one will form. So, so they form the bonds and so on. So this will break. Okay, right? Uh, something is wrong. Good night. Here to here, here double bond. Okay, right. Right, break. So, so the uh, so this carbon. Okay, one 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 to S. Now look at here. Here, 
them to the south. Okay? To each of them. The, the two of them were gone here to bond to, to, to up here. You know? so, the, so there was a double bond here initially. You see that? Okay? This double bond, single, single double bond, okay? Right? But the original one was here. Here was here. No, no. I mean, uh, this is the original molecule here. So this double bond here broke. So part of it joined to this one here, part of it joined to this one here. See so, Okay? Same here. Here, the double, the double bond is here. Okay? Part of it joined to this sulfur here, part joined to this here. So these are called sulfur linkages. Cross link. Sulfur, sulfur, cross linkages. These are unchanged. So not all the bonds are undergoing a, a cross linking. I said, not. okay, now this will make rubber stronger. Okay, now we can, we can see. You can go back and try it, okay? Right, you can see that by the, the, the examples are here. Okay. okay, so these two carbons, one carbon will join here to sulfur, one will join here to sulfur. And the H will go down here. Okay, so it'll be here. So it's one, two, three, four. The first carbon, carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four. The two carbons that form double one is the four carbons here. So you see here, same thing. Okay, right? One, two, three, and four. This is the double formula with the double bond here. Okay, now go and try it out. Okay, now time is almost up. Okay, so it's up here. I'm not sure. I just thought it's here. Now look at that. I just want to give you this. Now look at here. Now this is a non. Uh, they will come in a glue later, but I just want to talk about the same thing here. Okay? Right? So here you have got uh, the, the, the silicon, uh, silicon substance here. Now, undergo hydrosis, the water, water, water in the air will actually cause this one to come out. So, right? Water here, O and OH here. Okay? Right? It will cause this fellow here to plus hydrogen to give you your ethanol. And it will cause, right? Remember that's water here. The CH3 here plus the OH here to form the ethanol. So the join here will be silicon to oxygen. Okay? This is a silicon glue, no? Uh, you for your fish tank, right? See now. So this is also condensation. Right now. Remember this whole thing here is carbon carbon. See now. Uh, so this is another form of what cross linking. See? So hydrolysis. So it's sealing, cross linking. You can read up yourself here. This one is a uh, you know you 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 you, uh, you you know you mix two glues together sometimes. Okay. Now here let's here, here, here's here's another one. The most setting glues. This one you will think over. I will talk about it maybe next time. Uh, you can think over yourself. Now epoxy glue. So you, you, you mix two together. Now this is the first monomer. See ya? Yeah? The first monomer is this whole very big thing. Now these two ends will break. This 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 one one monomer, no? okay? This 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 like a you know, like a I all kind of thing, you know, a triangle, okay? All right? And then the other one is of course a diamine. So you mix the two groups, put them together, and you have for a time they will they will set. And they make a glue, you can, you can find this in the shop. Uh, two glues mixed together and then you put it on there. So this this glue goes and uh, aim, this is the part they will they will they will cross they will, they will link. You know. Okay, now see uh, the linkage here. Try it to yourself, the cross linking. It's a very big uh, see can you say me die. Okay, now think carefully, where is the monomer? Where is where where is the where are the two monomers? Now now you see here they draw means that there's the rest of them. Pick it up, okay? Right? So now this is this is your diamond. Like this is this one monomer. Originally there will be H here, isn't it? H here. Originally the H here. Yeah? H here. This part here originally. This part here. This part here. I'm gonna put it in red, okay? I'm gonna draw it in red. And you're gonna figure out yourself your brains. Huh? This part here is actually your epoxy there. Ah, see now. See? Uh, it's a long chain here. 
So it, you know, okay? So it breaks here. Okay? And join to here. And here become OH. You know, OH. The H here will go to the O here to form this one here. Okay? See so, you now. It's so all here same. Sama sama la. Okay? See so, now. All here same. Go back and try and to figure out. Okay, remember this is a diamine monomer and this is the other monomer. Ah, see? This, uh, I use a, a blue, I can finish now, okay? This is one monomer. This, see how they form a fantastic big molecule now. That's so how you can hold things together, see? This is one monomer. Figure yourself, draw the whole thing out. Okay? Draw it, break. Okay, now this uh, red color. Red color. This, this whole thing here is the other monomer until here. Okay? So this is the other monomer. Beautiful, isn't it? Chemistry is wonderful, isn't it? Beautiful, man. You make this, uh, you make millions of money, of dollars, man. To work the big man. It's like work. I enjoy working now. Yes. Oh, see that? Ah, see? See, see, see that? Ah, this is the other monomer. So the two monomers here. The whole thing is this part here, right, was formerly what? In an epoxy. C, C, H, H, join H and then to the, da, 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 the long molecule, which is here. You look at here, in here. Ah, see that? This part here. These two aids here. Okay. Try to figure out yourself. Uh, you have enough brains. Uh, I think uh, you know, if you go to A levels, you should have brains. Otherwise, I uh, should do D e levels. Uh. Maybe E levels, I don't know. Okay. So now I finished all this cross linking here. I put the empty set to draw the again so it doesn't, it doesn't make. Okay. So, so yeah. okay. Finish here. So I got, I, I've done all these things already. So now you have to figure out yourself. Uh, do it again and again to make sure you know, okay? So I finished already, you know. So the next time I'll teach you will be on nuclear magnetic resonance on how to figure out uh, which molecule is which molecule and how to break out the molecule, okay, of an organic substance and put them together, all right? Uh, so this will be quite interesting. This is under uh, instrumental analysis one, okay? But they use together with infrared and uh, mass spectrometer together with the organic question. It's a whole thing to, for you to analyze. Okay, guys. So thank you for watching and God bless you and all the best. Okay. Bye bye, guys. How to off it? Uh, okay. Uh,